Hold up a second. You, you see that, Dylan? You got rope in there? No. What is that? What is it? Come here, you guys. I don't know what the heck is inside this pond. What is that? Is it seriously? Tell me what that is. What's hey. that? Weird. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the ranch. It's another day here, a beautiful day here in South Florida at the ranch. And we're standing on the brand new Aquascape pond that Greg Woodstock built for us. Thank you again, Greg. I am freaking so happy about this thing. And I have no idea what we're gonna put inside of here yet, but I need everybody's help, Ranch Ram's help, because we got some plants in here, but we need to add plants in here. We gotta add more things in here. We gotta put landscape. We gotta bring this thing to life, even though this waterfall is amazing as it is but it looks like a war zone here. And um, yeah, we have to do a lot more things. So um, first off, I know that what we have to get done is a bridge has to get put there. And as you guys see, we have some water plants already. One of my good buddies of mine pretty much donated and gave me some plants. He's like, you got a pond, don't you? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, well, come by, come and get some uh, aquatic plants and add it inside your wetland filter. So I did, I got some pretty cool. These, this is some plant, it has yellow flowers. That one in there, it's cut back has purple flowers once it gets big it's really really gorgeous and that inside of there is another type of water tree don't really know all the names but in the comments right now we need other ideas and other things that we should put around this whole entire thing we have this whole mountain that has to go here one thing i would like to put right here is that tree you see right there that big mushroom looking tree it's a hibiscus it's a type of hibiscus it's gorgeous i want another one and it's going to go right here because i want that to grow in this whole entire area to be a big nice shade area of some sort for whatever animals we would like to put here and it's gonna be really really gorgeous all right so let's go and i'm gonna show you something that we are getting done in the back of the building so i know this is the back of the building the back of the building is pretty freaking ugly but it's a working farm things all get thrown into the back and uh it has to get redone just like you saw on the front is looking nice now the back has to look nice and if you guys know if you guys have been following me the reason why i got this massive building this big enormous overhang is because this is going to be a grow out a raising area uh all kinds of things for tortoises and turtles so in the next couple days good buddy of mine he will be coming here and we're going to be measuring out this whole entire area even though we know it's 65 by 12 feet by eight feet high but we got to measure out to know how much mesh we want to put in here the mesh that i decided to go here is going to be almost a 16 gauge no, I'm lying. I think it's the other way around. So whatever. It's a really, really strong gauge, but it's going to be a half inch by three inch mesh. And this is going to be great so that no mice, no rats can enter inside of this enclosure and hurt any of the endangered different types of turtles and tortoises that are going to get kept here. There's going to be three doors. So let's walk over here more. Right here is the door to enter inside of the building. So I'm going to have a door right here with a little walkway to come right here inside of here. On the other side of that concrete slab, on that side, is going to be another door, and across the whole entire thing will be one more, one more door as well. So three doors total. All these cages, all this stuff is going to be gone, and Big G is getting a new home, so put those post notifications on because it's going to be insane and massive. I decided I'm not going to keep him here because he's a star on the channel. He's amazing. He is great. Stay right there. Let me grab him. Look at Big G. Becoming massive. Big G is almost, he's like a year and six months old now, and... He is huge. He's probably a beautiful size of, I say he is probably six inch, eh, almost seven, eight inch straight line. Beautiful shell, act, freaking absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Words can't describe how perfect this Galapagos is. World's largest tortoise right here. But look at this gorgeous guy. Doing great, becoming a massive tortoise. And again, he's the world's largest tortoise. So one day he's gonna be uh, still living when I'm not here, but very awesome, Big G. Let's put him back and uh, let's keep on moving. If you guys haven't watched the video with Catalina having her baby, go check it out right now. That beautiful baby donkey is on the other side and I would definitely go check that video out because he is adorable. Go check it out. So, Catalina is excited. Look at the baby. All the way down there is looking at her. Like, what's happening? Anyways, let's come this way. But I cannot get over how beautiful this pond is right here you walk over here you walk through this beautiful sign that's right here and once it's all landscaped and put together even more than it is right now 
it's gonna be off the chain. But you walk over here, everything's working exactly how Ed, the professor, told me how it's gonna work, and it's working great. Hold up a second. You, you see that, Dylan? You got rope in there? No. What is that? I, I, I don't know. What the heck is all this stuff? What the heck? All right, so that does not look like, that's, whoa. Should I what grab it? That? I yeah, don't know. Uh, it's definitely some type of eggs, but what the heck what? is this? Look at this. That stuff is weird. It has to be some type of amphibian or something that's laid inside of here. It's not a fish because we haven't added no fish in here yet. Can but oh, shit. Uh, is that like gooey? Yeah, it's really soft. It almost Ugh. looks like caviar, but obviously my sturgeons haven't been in here, so there's no way it's caviar. Uh, let's Google and see uh, what this is real quick. Let me let me grab my phone, and I need to get my sister over here as well. She can check this stuff out. She's gonna be pretty amazed. I grab my phone real quick. Come here, you guys. I don't know what the heck is inside this pond, but something's gonna come out at me. Just grab that. No, but what's in there? Just grab it. Move. Just try to figure it out. I know what it is, you guys. You see anything different? You see anything? Well, I mean, I see a cord. Grab it. Grab it. Yeah. Dra 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 grab grab the cord. <laughs> what's yeah. in it? Huh? What's in there? All right, I got you. Yeah, grab it. Probably nothing. Probably gator. What? It's Ga a gator. It's a gator? It's not anything of a gator. That's what something. I told you. So what is this? What is I that? said it's something. What it's is it? It's an animal. What kind of animal? A centipede? Well, That's look at it. What is that? Is it seriously? Tell me what that is. What's eggs. Huh? It looks eggs. like eggs. Yeah. Of? Turtle. No, a uh, frog. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah. That tadpoles? Oh, tadpoles? Yeah. Tadpoles. Look at them all. Thousands of tadpoles. <laughs> How the heck? <laughs> Why does it look like this? But, but it's okay that we're grabbing it because these are cane toads and cane toads are bad for dogs. So I got to take them all out and pretty much destroy them all. Because if not, the dogs could die if they get eaten by them. And this That's is a so lot weird. of freaking babies that they start hatching. That is, it looks like a like I just a saw they were, I guess they were laid yesterday. But look at this. Look at that. That is so weird. Crazy, right? Thousands and thousands really of eggs. Cool. Each little dot's a freaking tadpole. Look how weird it is. It has like a clear rope. I googled it, I put it on Google, and as soon as I put it on Google, I put black string lines in pond, come straight up as the cane toads. Yeah, cane toads are the toads. So we figured out what it was. It's frogs inside the pond. We gotta get Yay! rid of them. <laughs> I thought something what was gonna jump in. What, what do I get, what do I get? <laughs> there, take it all out. Hey. Oh. <gasps> No, like <laughs> the birds sound like. Do you think we should eat it? That's right. Yeah, it's like um, what is that called? Caviar. Caviar. There you go. We got our own caviar. You go first. <laughs> just, just have a picture like that. Ew. Spaghetti. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is crazy. It tastes like crazy. Crazy stuff that's happening inside this pond. There's nothing even in here yet. Let's see what happens next. We're gonna have to take all of these things out of here because as I was saying earlier, these are cane toads and cane toads are an invasive species here in South Florida. I'm not really a really big fan. I really don't care about invasive species because if you guys saw videos in Peru and stuff of that sort, um, everything's losing their home. So if animals need to find home somewhere else, I'm okay with that. But anyways, back to my point. Um, the only reason why I'm getting rid of these things is because they hurt my dogs and because they hurt my dogs, I need to uh, dispose of all of these eggs because I have dogs right across over there and right across over there and more cane toads on my property is not good for small species of dogs. Um, they could die. They could get too high off of it. They bubble up and um, they don't do too good sometimes. So we got to dispose of all these eggs. Thank God we caught them in time so that they don't grow everywhere. Let's pick them all up. That's weird. That is weird. Look at this line of them. It doesn't break that easily either. That's very weird. So like soft and gooey too. All right, we got a little bit more. This is probably easily, probably over, I don't know, I have no idea how many. Bro, that's like, like 10,000 eggs. I mean, we eggs. can actually count, because you can see it. Definitely not counting, I have too much stuff to do here. But like, thousands and thousands. Thousands of, of dots. Like individual dots. Crazy, perfectly lined up. Pretty freaking awesome how mother nature curated animals on this earth, I'll tell you that much. But um, get a couple more, and um, 
I'm not gonna freaking let you guys watch me collect all these babies. But uh, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, everybody.